Okay, so we have one last line of defense against acid-based disturbances in our bodies, and that is the kidneys, okay? So that's shown here. Let's take a look at what the kidneys do to help us with acid-based balance, okay? So first of all, I just want to mention the kidneys are responsible for about 25% of the acid-based balance in our bodies. Um, and basically what they do is they either secrete or reabsorb H plus, and they either secrete or reabsorb bicarbonate um, in order to achieve acid-base balance in the body. Okay, so let's take a closer look at that. Um, we're going to have activities that contribute to ac acid-base balance in two main parts of the nephron. The first is the proximal tubule, and the second is the, the distal nephron. So in the proximal tubule, basically what happens is we end up reabsorbing bicarbonate. In the distal nephron, we are going to adjust our secretion and reabsorption of bicarbonate or hydrogen ion, depending on the body's needs at that time, okay? So let's take a closer look at that. Okay, I know this is a really, really busy um, figure, but don't worry too much about it. I will point out what you need to know, okay? So again, in the proximal tubule, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reabsorbing bicarbonate and coupled with that, we are going to secrete hydrogen ion, okay? So um, a little bit about why we do that. So I wanna kind of explain why we're interested in reabsorbing bicarbonate and secreting hydrogen ion. Um, so remember that we have a whole bunch of bicarbonate in our plasma that's, that's acting as a buffer for pH changes, okay? Um, because that bicarbonate is in our plasma, it is going to end up filtering into the tubule of our nephrons, okay? And since we want that, that bicarbonate, we're going to need to reabsorb it back into our bloodstream, right? Because we want, we want to hold on to that so that we can still have that bicarbonate available to act as a buffer um, for our acid-base changes, okay? Um, so that's why we're reabsorbing bicarbonate here in the proximal tubule. Um, hydrogen ion we secrete because remember that we have a natural tendency to acidify based on our metabolism and because we're usually ingesting um, acids or more acids than bases, okay? So we're just gonna automatically get rid of some um, hydrogen ion here in the proximal tubule, okay? Let's take a look at how we do that. Again, very busy figure. I will point out what I want you to know. Basically, I want you to focus right here, okay? So what happens here, well, I guess first I should orient you, right? So here's the tubule. Here is the wall of the tubule. Here is our bloodstream, right? So what happens inside the wall of the tubule, the epithelial cells that make up that wall, we get our carbonic anhydrase reaction where we take CO2 and H2O and turn that into H plus and bicarbonate, okay? Then what we do is we secrete the H plus into the tubule so that it leaves our body in the form of urine, okay? And then we reabsorb bicarbonate, okay? So that's basically how we reabsorb bicarbonate and secrete hydrogen ion. All right, so that was the proximal tubule. I wanna remind you that these um, processes that happen in the proximal tubule are kind of automatic, they're not regulated. This is just what is automatically happening in the proximal tubule under all circumstances, okay? But when we get to the distal nephron, right? So the distal tubule and the collecting duct, we are going to adjust our acid-base activities based on our body's current needs at that specific time, right? So if our body is getting too acidic, we're going to want to secrete acid. If our body is getting too basic, we're going to want to reabsorb acid, okay? Um, and also bicarbonate. So bicarbonate, we would want to reabsorb and secrete 
respectively. I think I got that right. Okay. Um, okay, so here, let's take a look. So basically in the distal nephron, um, again, in the walls that make up the cell of the tubule, sorry, in the cells that make up the wall of the tubule, um, we have two different types of cells, okay? So one cell is going to um, make hydrogen ion and bicarbonate from H2O and CO2 using carbonic anhydrase, okay? And it is going to pump out uh, hydrogen ion into uh, the, um, the collecting duct, the lumen of the collecting duct, and it's going to reabsorb bicarbonate back into the bloodstream, or it's going to pump out bicarbonate on the basolateral side so that it can get reabsorbed back into the bloodstream. Okay. Our other cell type is going to do the opposite. So again, we have that carbonic anhydrase reaction. But what's going to happen now with the H plus is that is going to get reabsorbed. So it's going to get pumped out of the basolateral membrane and then reabsorbed back into the bloodstream. And then the bicarbonate is going to be pumped out of the apical membrane so that it can be excreted in the urine. Okay, 